Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm participating in a DIY challenge. It's the What Would You Make DIY Challenge hosted by OK at Home DIY. Guest hosted by Creating It Myself and also guest hosted by Simple Roots Simple Living. Make sure to check out the playlist in the description box. DIY number one, slogan sign. You know how some people have a slogan at the end of their video? Like my friend Billy Burt, he's got live, laugh, love. Well, I decided I wanted a slogan for my video. And what I decided on was dream, smile, and laugh out loud. In one of my drawers, I found a sign that said dream that I had gotten previously and I had it on my wall. If you look at my older videos, you'll see it on my wall. Well, it was a metal sign or like aluminum and I decided I wanted to use a ruler and pencil and trace it out on a paper and then I could use my scroll saw and make it into a wooden sign. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, tracing out the dream word on paper. It was pretty easy to do because I already had the template. And then using my scroll saw, I scrolled out the word. Now I did have to do some pilot holes for the inside letters. But once I did that, it was very easy to do. And I'm just scrolling out the letters right now. Once I finished, I used some sandpaper and I sanded all around all of the letters and also on the back of the dream sign just to get rid of all the little wispy pieces. I was pretty new to sanding at this point. I've just learned how to do a lot of this stuff I never knew how to do before. And so it's pretty interesting. Anyone can do it if I can do it. And it's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn. Once that was done, I had this stain that I got an, in a Michaels haul, and I decided to stain it uh, charcoal gray. Now, I decided to use the word smile, because my slogan is going to be dream, smile, and laugh out loud. So here's the dream. And now I want to do the smile. So I decided I wanted a backer on the smile that was a different color. And the front part is made out of laminate flooring. So just using my scroll saw, once again, I cut out the pieces. Now all of the projects that I'm working on in this video, I did on lives. And I'll link those in the description box below if you want to see the full thing. In most of my lives, my co-host is Billy Burt, but I also had a co-host, Jerry Taylor from A Happy Hoarder as well. Once all the cutting was done, I used my sanding block and I just sanded off all of the smile, both of them. Now I have learned how to sand better since this video was taken. And then I put the two together. 
And I really liked how that turned out. Once that was done, I found this little sign that I got at Dollar Tree last year that said love. And I really wanted LOL for the third word because I say LOL all the time. I write LOL all the time and sometimes my videos or my lives are just laugh out loud funny. If you haven't seen why, you should check my video funny outtakes from lives. It's really funny and sure to make you laugh out loud. So I took the love sign to my scroll saw and I cut out the L-O and then the E part. I decided to make another L. And once that was done, I still had the V left and someone on my live, Bill, suggested I make an exclamation mark out of the V. Which was a great idea because if you see me on other lives or chats, I tend to use a lot of exclamation marks. So here's the LOL. I'm just giving it some more sanding. And here's Jerry Taylor from A Happy Hoarder. She was in one of my lives. And here's how my LOL is looking. I decided to make a backer for it. So I just traced it out. Here's how the sign is going to look. And at the end of my videos or lives, I'm going to hold it up and say dream, smile, and laugh out loud. And it's also going to be on my bookshelf as well. And I really like how it's looking. There's a nice contrast. And now I'm going to stick the LOL on to see how it looks. And I really like it a lot. I like how there's three different types. So I went back to the scroll saw and scrolled out the exclamation point. And this is how it turned out. I thought it turned out great. DIY number two, wooden advent calendar. So I'm gonna be in this collab, the 12 days of Christmas ornaments. And I thought it might be cute to have a little advent calendar for that. But I only wanted 12 days in my advent calendar. So my friend Billy Burt is really good at making stuff with wood. So I thought he'd help me like usual. So what I did was I looked up different advent calendar templates, but I couldn't find anything I liked in a normal scrolling site. Then I found this one that was from a CNC, which is actually a laser. So I thought it might be a little difficult to do because it's not really for a scroll saw. But Billy said we could do it, so we gave it a whirl. So what I did first was I printed off the pattern and then I made a couple more patterns as well because this is gonna be a layered project. Originally, I didn't wanna do any drawers in it but Billy said it would be best, so that's what we did. We decided to do this project in four layers. The first layer being the back, the second layer being the shelves, the third layer being the shelves in the tree, and the fourth layer being the whole picture except for the tree. So I got my scroll saw and I cut the picture making sure 
to have a little bit left on the bottom for a base. So I had to use the ruler to draw a line at the bottom of the pattern. Then I had to cut all around the outside. So I got my shape. Now I use the same pattern because unfortunately the ink ran out in my printer that day. So I just peeled it off and used it for the next one. There was a lot of cutting involved for this project because I had to cut out the middle part. I had to cut out the tree. I had to cut all of the little drawers out as well. And those were a bit more time consuming because there was three little parts of the drawer that I had to cut out and I had three times 12, so 36. So if you've ever made drawers before, it's really interesting. There's a back piece, a middle piece, and a front piece. The middle piece is a little C-shaped piece. And I had to cut all of these three things separately and make them all fit together. And I'd never done anything like this before, so it was really challenging. Once I had all of the holes cut out, I did have to sand everything. I had to take the saw first and go back into the holes and make them all sanded smooth because I had taken the two separate pieces and glued them together and then I had to sand them all so everything was flush. But instead of using a sander, which I don't have, I use a scroll saw. So I went around each piece and sanded all on the inside. Now I had to wear a mask for this because it is laminate flooring and you don't want to be breathing in any of that sawdust. So I had to take the blade out and put it back in for each little section and sand that all down. So it did take quite a few days to make this because I work full time and I was doing it at night on lives. And I'm just sanding down with the scroll saw all of the sides of the insides. Once that was done, I took regular sandpaper and I sanded down the insides once again because there was still some parts that weren't flush. And I was just using the regular sandpaper until Potter Lynn, if you know her, suggested that I use an emery stick. She gave me a link to go check them out and she also told me how to build one. So that's what I did. And once I did that, it was easy peasy. I was just relaxed and sanding away. So here's how it looks so far with everything together. And now I have to work on the drawers. And so I had a little difficulty putting the pieces together. I did number them, but when I sanded them, I sanded the numbers off the back of them, so I wasn't sure which piece went with what. And so I was just measuring them out by hand on the table just to see which piece went where. And once I did that, I used E6000 to glue the pieces together, the three pieces for each drawer. Be careful with your E6000 because I lost my cap and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to keep it in a Ziploc. So I'm just gluing all of the pieces together. The top piece with the number in it, the middle C piece 
and the back piece. And I had to do that on each one of the numbers from 1 to 12. So here's the numbers after. And I did put them all in. Now I did have to sand them all. And I used a sanding board to sand them to get them to fit into the little squares. But eventually they all fit. A couple of them were not as straight as I wanted. But this was my first time making this. So I think next time if I decide to make something with drawers. I'll be a little more careful. To make sure that everything fits well. I considered putting little handles on the drawers, but then you wouldn't see the numbers. But I was really loving how it was all coming together. There's 12 little drawers in the advent calendar. Most advent calendars have 24. So you can get a little present every day in the month of December leading up to Christmas. The last thing I had to do was add the little piece for the snow and add the backer. And my little advent calendar was complete. I want to thank Billy Burt and Jerry from A Happy Hoarder for appearing in my lives, all of my live audience for any input that they gave me. I also want to thank OK at Home DIY, Creating It Myself, and Simple Roots Simple Living for hosting this cool What Would You Make Challenge. Don't do that. Well, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you like videos like this, please share. It helps my channel a lot. And don't forget to dream, smile, and laugh out loud. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.